Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty and NCAA Football 2003. Today we got the finale of season number 9, taking on the Oklahoma Sooners in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, the national championship game. We are 13-0, they are 12-1, Big 12 champs. We won the SEC and we beat them last season in the Natty. So a nice little rematch for us, we beat them in the Rose Bowl. Here's the matchup for us. Oklahoma, number one offense in the game. We have the number three offense, but we are a little bit more balanced. We can run the ball really well. We can throw it. Turnover differential is outstanding for both squads. And number one points per game versus number two points per game in the country. We're going to go ahead and look at Oklahoma's schedule, see what they did leading up to this contest. And we will check out uh, our schedule as well. Get a nice little recap for us. Obviously, it's the game of the week. It's the Natty. All right, here's our schedule. <coughs> and we have uh, pretty much dominated. Closest game we had all season was against um, Hawaii, which for some reason, we're just we're having a tough time against Hawaii in game number one of the season uh, the past couple years. So uh, but we won that. Beat Rice. Beat UNLV. Beat Middle Tennessee State. Look at our combined opponents record. That's mostly because of the... <laughs> the non-conference opponents here uh, just having pretty good records 9-4, 10-2, 9-3 LSU had a decent season at 8-5 and five. and then we get Vandy they actually won two games this year they went winless last year uh, but we beat them by 60 so there's that beat Auburn by a boatload of points we put up 50 burgers uh, what, 4, 5 times? let me see yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 550 burgers this season and Alabama <laughs> oh my goodness uh, I don't know if they've won a game in three seasons what's up Tyler what's going on buddy yeah we have uh, we dominated this year which is really surprising we did have a close game against Arkansas and Ole Miss just because rivalry games so you know it has to be close and oh we actually have another 50 burger here against Florida in the SEC championship game let's take a look at Oklahoma's schedule All right, they beat Hawaii in week one, 68 to seven. So they dominated them when we couldn't. They beat BYU by six, lost to North Carolina, which, I mean, that's very surprising. Uh, North Carolina, they did have a good record, eight and five, uh, but their offense not very good. So that is a shocking loss there. Beat Utah, beat Iowa State, beat Texas, shut out Missouri, 66, nothing. Crazy. Beat Oklahoma State, 51-9. And look at that, 13-6. Texas A&M gave them a run for their money. A&M, 10-3 uh, on the season. Really good performance from them this year. Uh, they beat Baylor, 62-9. Beat Texas Tech, 53-3. And destroyed Colorado in the Big 12 title game. So, yeah, good times. <laughs> good times for everybody here. Just getting destroyed on both of our schedules. Well, let's get it. I'm ready. There's the matchup again real quick. They won 10 straight. And we've won... Well, how many have we won straight? Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, they also have the Heisman Trophy winner. Their quarterback. We've won 28 straight games. Wait, actually, let's go back to this. Player stats for Oklahoma. Uh, J.J. Lewis, senior quarterback, the Heisman winner. 4,400 yards. And... 41 touchdowns. Today's the Super Bowl. Yes, sir. You got the Chiefs winning it. I mean, it, it's going to be a good game. I, I can't bet against Mahomes, so I'm right there with you. But I'm just hoping for a good game. Oklahoma's got a freshman halfback, Tyrone Lee. He had nine touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards, and 2,000 yards receivers. Uh, so look out for Perkins and Kirk in the natty. And on defense, I mean, they... Look at this. Two... Freshman linebackers just killing it. Their defensive line is really good, though. And that's what I'm worried about. They have a couple guys here with uh, 11 sacks apiece. So the right end and the defensive tackle, Alonzo Allen. Just a bunch of beasts up front. A couple free safeties with a bunch of interceptions. I'm not sure if they have one of them starting at strong safety or not. No, it doesn't look so. All right. Interesting. Maybe one got hurt. 
bunch of forced fumbles. Look at all these fumbles recovered. Crazy. Wish we could do that. They have any blocks? Nope, but you know who does? Us. I just gotta see it. Oh yeah, Tony Calhoun, baby. Block punt touchdown. I still gotta upload that on the channel as its own little standalone highlight. Because, well, it was awesome. Only the second punt I've ever blocked in this game. And it comes in, you know, within a, a season or two of each other. Which is pretty impressive. Alright. Rematch. Oklahoma and Mississippi State. Let's get it. Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. We're also going to be doing the off-season after the game, so stick around for that. We might do another stream right after this, uh, starting up season number 10 as well. boys are picking us thinking our defense is going to dominate and our running game is going to dominate as well see if we can prove them right here today now our next season uh, season number 10 is going to be the final season of the Bulldogs dynasty so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one uh, as much as I have been uh, to you know be able to bring it to you over the last seven years we just hit our seven year mark on the channel yesterday February 10th uh, 2017 that was the first ever upload for dynasties on the channel <coughs> so you know celebrating the next day with a national championship game Oh, nice route, and what a catch from Perkins. Going to be hearing his name a lot today. 1,000-yard receiver for this deadly Sooners passing attack. Almost 500 yards of offense per game. Number one in the country. Of course, with the Heisman winning quarterback back in the shotgun. That's Lewis. And that is not a good start <laughs> for the for the secondary. Different quarterback last year in this game. Sooners looking for a different outcome. We are looking for our third national championship victory in nine seasons. And a big hit on the quarterback. Let's see who hit him. And that oh my goodness. Absolutely close line. That was number 93. I think that's is that Neil? Yes, Mr. Neil. <coughs> and a nice quick pass to Roberson. Sooners with a third and three coming up. Send some linebackers. 
50% on third down this year. That's good for ninth best in the nation. They're going to go counter here. And I get spun out of my shoes. My goodness. First down, Oklahoma at the 28-yard line. Go counter again. Nice tackle by Ruben Mason, the middle linebacker. Only a pickup of one. And coverage. They're going to hand it off again. And that's Calderon. He's going to pick up two yards. They're down in about seven coming up. A couple guys going deep thirds here. And deflected away by Gray. So a good stop for the defense. Oklahoma are going to send on the field goal unit. Hogan, 27 of 34 on the year long of 49. I'm still furious that Rick Hayes went 20 for 20 on the season. And didn't even get top five for the Lou Groza Award as Oklahoma barely squeezes that through for three points. Sooners on top here in the first quarter. Tony Calhoun set to return. And it's holding. That is unfortunate. That was Chapman. All right, we get it. Let's go, Oh, Let's figure this out. See what works. Let's go with the dive. This defense is just littered with all Americans. Good run for Sanford. He's still up. Up past the 25-yard line. <clears throat> nice strong run for the sophomore, Damian Sanford. I think number 34 needs some milk. I got to turn the volume up in my headset. Get the natty pumping into my eardrum. Oh, nice tackle. My goodness. Thought for sure we were going to be able to slip into that crease, pick up five or six yards. Oh, my goodness. Somehow, we, we've got about two inches... <laughs> that carry. Oh, man. Okay. They're down to nine coming up. Sanford feeling a little bit different today. A little bit quicker with the wiggle sticks. Unfortunately, you know, we need some blocking as well. There's Malone up to the 41-yard line. First down, Dows. Let's go. Cletus Pace looking to win his second national championship game back-to-back. <coughs> -back. I mean, last season, uh, he was obviously not our starter. Napoleon Watson was. He got injured, I think, on the first drive of the game against Oklahoma. Pace came in and just helped us uh, win that game pretty easily. I mean, he was he was lights out in that game. I shouldn't say we won it easily. It was, <laughs> it was a really close game, but... He made it look easy out there, is what I'm trying to say. Having not really played at all the whole season. You know, coming off the bench. Dang, no blocking there. Winter is already with three tackles. Alright, we got a third and ten. Let's go. Let's try to hit Malone on a post. Come on, posty. 
Number eight defense in the country for Oklahoma. 248 yards allowed per game. I mean, Massey's open, and he's going to hang on to it. 33-yard line. He's wide open. Not sure what the secondary was doing. 44 getting there just a little bit too late from that strong safety position. And we are moving. Massey, end zone, touchdown, Bulldogs. The play action got him, and Pace delivers a strike. Extra point is up and good from Rick Hayes, who is still perfect on the season. 89-yard touchdown drive. 7-3 Bulldogs lead the Sooners. Come on, boys, get him. Get him. Oh, what a spin move. Oof. Tried one too many of them, though. All right. See if the defense can get back out there. Get a nice little stand again. And they're going to set up a screen, and that is deflected away. That was a dangerous throw from Lewis. He's got 4,400 passing yards on the season, 41 touchdowns. The Heisman Trophy winner. Been absolutely uh, dominant this season. And there's an overthrow. A little miscommunication on the outside. Nice deflection. Is that Mason? I believe that was Mason. He made a linebacker with a nice play. And Oklahoma going to have to punt it away. Come on, Calhoun. Get back there and block. Okay, Mullins. I mean, you held out on the football. So I will accept that. He's fumbled the ball way too much this season. You know, for not having uh, really been involved in the game plan, he, he sure does like to give the ball away. Nice catch by Massey, extending the hands. Picking up seven or eight. Go dive. We've had a well-balanced offense this season. I want to try to keep it that way. I don't want to do, you know, I don't want to throw it too much or I don't want to run it too much. Just keep it balanced. Nice run for Sanford up inside the 40-yard line. He's got 24 on six carries. Hey, pressure lock, what's going on, man? Throw it up. There's Desmond Dale. He's going to pick up eight or nine. Good luck on the three-peat. Well, I mean, this is for back-to-back, -back, so if we can win this, we're, we'll be going for the three-peat in season 10. So thank you. I appreciate you, man. Second down and one. Let's go fullback. Let's go Sandoval to the big fella. He's going to be met at the line of scrimmage, but he does get enough for the first down. Malone could 
could be open on the corner. We're going to the end zone. He's got his man beat. And a great deflection by number 44. Saving a touchdown. It would have been called back anyway due to a holding call by Murphy. Man. Great closing speed by that strong safety. Oh boy, nobody's really open here. And Cletus Pace is going to pick up about four. That could have been a lot worse. Final play of the first quarter. And nice deflection there by the linebacker. We're on top, 7-3 to three as we head into the second here in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. All right, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go play action. And we are second third down conversion percentage, 55% on the season. Don't know who number one is. Uh-oh. Well, that didn't work out. <coughs> Perfect blitz call. Sending the safety. And we're going to punt this away with Floyd, who has been absolutely phenomenal this season. Chaos Driven, what's going on, my brother? Just in time for the natty. Come on, don't you let that bounce. It hit him. Let's go. We got it. Oh, my goodness. Special teams mishap for the Sooners. Was that Higgins, number 44, that messed up? Let's take a look. Beautiful punt from Floyd. And it's bouncing around, and it just it bounces right off of the leg of the safety here. Uh, that's Higgins. We don't actually see it. It's just a slight little force field there. But it does hit him in the leg, and we do recover it with Barry. Keyshawn Barry, our starting corner. That's a huge mistake for Oklahoma. Throw it up. Massey down to the one-yard line. He's been pretty big so far in this one. Let's go Sanford here. You just ate a bunch of food? Nice. I've had a Red Bull for breakfast. What's up? Gave me some wings, baby. Sanford is not going to get there. What a tackle. That was Higgins. The strong safety, the ball that, you know, it hit him on special teams. He's the one that uh, forced this defense to get back out on the field within their own five-yard line. He's trying to make up for it with a nice tackle there. Bring up a third and goal just outside the end zone. Sanford is going to punch it in, though. Touchdown, Mississippi State, as we extend our lead. About to be 14 to 3. Extra point from Hayes is up and good. 14 to 3 now in the second. That was a three play, eight yard touchdown drive. Don't be hating on my pear cinnamon Red Bull, all right? It's absolutely fantastic. Bam, 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 bam. Bands get me hype. Let's go defense. Let's <coughs> see what we got here. Oh my goodness. A lot of traffic out there. Corbin May uh, makes the deflection. The senior right outside the linebacker. Beautiful. That's a great camera angle. We almost saw that. Anyways, you know who made the play. And then I also tackled the receiver, so it was fun for everybody. Second down and 10. They're going to go draw play. And they're going to pick up maybe three yards with Calderon. I'm loving what the defense is doing right now. 
<laughs> Sooners just one for three on third down. Oh, I just missed the interception. But either way, the Sooners are going to have to give the ball back to us. Fourth and seven coming up. Quick three and out by the Bulldog defense. Oh, Tony, you got to get that block, brother. I know you're like five foot nine, but come on, man. All right, back to the ground attack. Can't believe Tony didn't block anybody right there. Man. Is that Winters again? That guy's a stud. Just can't block him. Just all over the field. Where's my fullback? He should have went to the outside, sealed the edge. I probably could have got about 10 yards on that. Instead, we are at third down and 10 from our own 36. Got to get some sleep for work? Nah, you don't need sleep. It's fine. Everything's fine. Quick strike to Desmond Dale. Oh, he might be gone. Desmond Dale is off to the house. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Oh, my goodness. Desmond Dale. What? <laughs> Who had that on their bingo card? Desmond Dale with a 64-yard touchdown catch in the national championship game. Oh, Cletus Pace got crushed. Dominating right now. I love it. Definitely did not see that coming. He's already got, I think he's got three catches already. Later, brother. Extra point from Hayes is up and good. 21 to 3 now. Let's see how Oklahoma is going to respond to this. A little bit of adversity. They haven't, <laughs> haven't really had any since they're lost to North Carolina in the first half of the season. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh oh, somebody help me. Gray saving a touchdown. Oh man, I knew I was going to have to be the last line of defense there. <coughs> Luckily, the strong safety has been fantastic all season long. Go defense. And Calderon is going to go nowhere. Robbins on the stop. <coughs> Dang it. Been doing a little bit more zone coverage in this game than I usually do. Get him. No way. Forced him back inside, and he still somehow squeezes through for the first down. That's Cantrell. I believe that's the fullback. And that's a big fella. Catch by Vance. He's going to take this all the way. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Gray can't bring him down. Vance, uh, you know, rather large tight end. Making a nice play there. Getting the Sooners in the end zone for the first time today and closing that gap just a little bit. Didn't really expect to hold him the whole game. Extra point is up. And it is good. 21 to 10 now. Just took three plays on that drive. Less than a minute off the clock.
Freshman running back McCoy set to return it from the seven yard line. And he gets to the, oh my goodness, he got to the open field, but a great sa uh, saving touchdown right there from number 32. I mean, if he wasn't there, McCoy is gone. I got so excited right there. Almost forgot to speak English. We don't really have... Oh my goodness! I'm not even sure if that's not Brian Bosworth out here playing linebacker for Oklahoma. I mean, what in the world is going on? Linebackers are killing us. These guys are freshmen. I, I, think, I think two of their linebackers are true freshmen. Dang. Anderson, the tight end, he's open. Let's go. All the way to the 37-yard line of Oklahoma. Pace is on fire right now. In Fuego. That's a pretty good career for Pace. Completion percentage, not the greatest, but that's fine. We care about touchdowns. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. He knows it, too. He, he got popped pretty good. That's another one of those young linebackers for Oklahoma. Sooner's going to be nasty for the next few years. That's just what Oklahoma needed to try to get back in this. Another touchdown will make it a one-score game. And that's Vance. Tight end that has a touchdown on their last drive out. And he's going to pick up five. Double coverage. Not sure if anybody over there actually saw the football. Lewis struggling a little bit. 6 of 14, 91 yards, but he does have the touchdown now. Trying to get some of his confidence back. There's another overthrow. Lewis just off the mark quite a bit today, and they're going to have to punt it away. So the turnover does not hurt Mississippi State. Uh-oh. Trish Bear caught that. <laughs> I get a little too uh, overzealous sometimes trying to make plays. It happens. Let's go play action. Uh oh, probably not a good idea. Whew. Pace is taking some brutal hits today. <coughs> and I believe that, yep, I'm pretty sure he has... He's the one that had 11 sacks coming into this game. Man, decent run for Sanford, getting all those yards back. lays out for it. What is going on with Desmond Dale today? Three for 85. That doesn't even make, it doesn't even make any sense. And he's a perfectly capable receiver, but he has not been that amazing. Oh my goodness. Massey's wide open for six. Touchdown Bulldogs. Cletus Pace is just dotting them up. Dot after dot. Oh my goodness. Massey should be over 100 yards receiving now. With that catch. 
pace with 266 yards passing here in the first half, outdueling the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback for Oklahoma. Hayes extra point nearly blocked. My goodness. And it's 28 to 10. Dogs on top. They got a minute and seven seconds left in the half. See what they can do on offense. Quarterback draw. Okay. Interesting. Oh, my goodness. Woo. I think he might be regretting that decision. Can't wait for 07, our 07 dynasty to uh, get actual hit stick hits. If you haven't voted on our our latest community poll on the channel, go ahead and do that. Do not forget, only got 53 votes on there. We had 90, I think, on the poll picking the next dynasty game, which was 07. Right now, the Mac is beating the Big Ten 47% to 40. And nobody wants to see the Pac-10, apparently. So, And we are going to get a stop here. A little bit of time left on the clock. All right, Mullins. Let's do something, brother. Or not. That's fine. <clears throat> totally fine with that. Let's see what we can do here. Uh-oh. Joiner, he's open. I think we got one timeout left. Yes, we do. We are just throwing to everybody right now. Up top to Sanford, and he's going to come away with it. See if we can get downfield. Spike the ball. Nope. I accidentally uh, just picked the previous play. Ah, we're just going to have to kick a field goal here. Didn't really have enough time to run another play. <coughs> Rick Hayes on for the field goal try. Last play of the first half. Field goal is up. And Rick Hayes still perfect. 21 of 21 on the year. And it's 31-10 at halftime. Total domination right now. And we get the ball to start the second half. Here's Tony Calhoun from the one yard line. Nice juke. Gets to the edge and tries to spin out a defender. Gets up to the 35. Great return from Tony. Sorry, 5'6, but almost funny out there. That was, that was a good tackle, though. Pass off to him. Alright, what do we want to do here? Fat back sting. Nice juke from Sanford. He's going to pick up five. Wide open. That's a first down for the Bulldogs. He's got 147 yards today on six catches with two scores. Uh-oh. Well, 
that didn't work out. Maybe if my receiver is actually blocked. Come on, post. What you doing, brother? There was no blocking. Loss of seven on the run. You know it's not good when your wide receiver, you know, when you can see his face. <laughs> All right. You got five yards of that back. We'll take it. Top to Sanford, and he's going to drop it. That was a nice hit by the corner, number 22. We're down 12 coming up. Up top, Desmond Dale is going to be picked off. A lot of traffic out there. And great play for the Sooners defense. Got a little bit of momentum now. Let's see what they can do on offense. They're going to get a big play to Kirk. He might go. And Gray saves the touchdown at the six. My goodness. Yeah, these receivers are filthy. Just the first catch of the game for Kirk, I think. Barry's been doing a fantastic job covering him. That should have been picked off. Nice deflection, though, by Corbin May, the linebacker. See if the defense can stand strong. Their back's against the wall. And that is deflected away by another linebacker. That was Copeland. Third and goal. Quarterback draw. He might take it. Neo is going to save the touchdown. Let's go, Neo. And they're going to kick a field goal here. So, a huge stand for the defense. That play almost worked. Crazy. And the field goal is up and good. 31-13 now. Oklahoma chipping away at that lead just a little bit here. Calhoun going to return it from about two yards deep. Getting the outside. Nice juke. And gets to the 33-yard line. Special teams has had a few nice returns for us so far in this game. Here we go. There's Sanford. Trying to stiff arm, gets up to the 47. Just 2.9 yards per carry today on 15 attempts. That's all right, when one superstar is held in check, we have plenty of other weapons on this roster. Another good run for Sanford, picking up five. little juke there. Pick up three. Go back to the ground with Sanford. See if you can't pick up first down the right side here with a halfback lead. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a nice juke and a face mask to boot. 15 yarder as well. We'll take that.
nice deflection by the linebacker. We're looking for Desmond Dale. Now, lucky that wasn't a fumble call. Third down and ten. We can get to the one yard line, pick up a first down. And we got crushed. Luckily, that wasn't picked off. Pace got hit pretty hard there. on for another field goal try, his second of the game. I missed it. Yep, our first miss of the season. Comes in the natty, didn't get the accuracy. His thumb just was not working on that time. That's fine. Still up by 18 points over the Sooners. That's almost picked off. Receivers kind of ran into each other on their routes. It's a miscommunication again for Oklahoma. And hand off to the fullback, Cantrell, and he's crushed by Corbin May. Making another nice play today. Third and nine. Oklahoma needs this badly. High snap. They're going to take a shot, and it's somehow caught by Perkins. He's going to break two tackles. Spectacular one-handed reception for the All-American wide receiver. This is second catch today. Him and Kirk have uh, been shut down for the most part. And that's a fumble. Oh, we almost had it with Kennedy. That was May forcing the fumble. Loss of nine. Quick pass. There's Kirk again to the 40. On the soft spot in the zone. Just sat down. Easy reception for him. Third down to 11 now. Should have been pass interference on us. They're not going to call it on, uh, on Robbins, though. He kind of just stopped in front of the receiver. <coughs> Another punt for Oklahoma. Nice block. Mullins breaking a tackle. Gets up to around the 40-yard line. Coming back for it. He's going to drop it, though. That play took uh, a long time to, <laughs> to really get going there. Still, he should have caught it, though. Hit him right in the hands. And Sanford only going to get a yard on second down. They're down nine. Top to Malone, and nice deflection by 32. That's Williams, I think. No, McClure. 
and now a Pete Floyd punt for MSU. Get him. Nice play by the Gunners. Keeps that punt inside the 20-yard line. Another one for Floyd on the season. He's been just absolutely phenomenal for us. Oklahoma not done yet. Color on picking up six or seven. They actually gave him eight yards on that somehow. Okay. Third quarter coming to a close here. Might get one or two more plays out of this one. Down and one. They're gonna hand it off to Cantrell, the fullback, and he easily picks that one up. That should be the final play of the third quarter. Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, one quarter left. It's 31 13. Bulldogs on top. Season 9 almost over. Yeah, they're going to keep it on the ground as Calderon is going to still be up. Oh my goodness, he picks up 8 on that one. Great effort from the Sooner running back. Just plowing through everybody. And Lewis is not going to get it. I'm not sure what this play calling is right now. And they're down by 18. You need two touchdowns, two two point conversions, and a field goal to win it. And you're running the ball. Fair, fair enough to them, though. <laughs> it has been working this drive, but still. Man, there's an overthrow from Lewis. Just been off the mark today. Draw play. Gray with a nice tackle on Calderon, who picks up four. Using a lot of time on the clock right now. Very interesting play call. He's wide open. What a catch from Perkins. To be fair to Robbins, too, though. I mean, he was right there in coverage, nearly getting a hand on it. Forty-three yards for Perkins today. I snap. Lewis is going to throw a pick to Kennedy up to the twenty-nine yard line, and that play was dead from the start. A high snap, and Lewis just forcing it. That was supposed to be a play action. Just didn't have enough time to set it up. Oklahoma's first turnover of the ball game. And Sanford will somehow squeeze through and get five yards. Sanford moving the chains. He's got 84 yards today. 
20 carries. Oh my goodness, just hold on to your block. There's so much green grass in front of him. Jeez Louise, we got four blockers there. And they hit nobody. Alright, they're down 16 coming up. Wide open is Joiner. He had to come back for it slightly. I don't think he's going to move the chains. Fourth and one at the 50. And we're going to go for it here. Fullback time. Oh, he's got it. Easy. Still going. My goodness. About 15 yards for Sandoval up the gut. Beautiful run. Hold up the Sanford, a few yards. Pace with 346 through the air today. Right. Trying to close this game out strong. And pace going to take off, just pick up a few yards to avoid the sack. Up top to the tight end, Anderson, and that's going to be an overthrow. Fourth and three, we'll go for it again. Trying to close it out. Man coverage. And here we go. Sanford, is he going to get it? He is not. Huge stop for Oklahoma. Not a lot of time left, though. But to me, it looked like he got it. But I might be a little biased. And Perkins with another catch to the 46-yard line. They've been really balanced throwing the left, center, and the right side of the field today. Coverage. That's Willis down to the 21 yard line. Oklahoma not done yet. Still fighting. And quick pass to Roberson. He'll pick up five. This is the best that Lewis has looked on any drive today. And Kirk to the two. Let's see what they do here. First and goal from the no huddle. And it's picked off. Reuben Mason picks it off in the end zone. Lewis devastated.
heck of a season for the Sooners coming to a close. A lot of All-Americans, award winners, got the Heisman Trophy winner. Just wasn't enough to win the Natty here today against the Bulldogs who are going to claim their third national championship in nine seasons and back to back season eight and season nine champs. We have one more season in us, boys. See if we can't get the three-peat. Nice tackle at the linebacker, but Sanford gonna move the chains. <coughs> Stick around after the game, guys. We're gonna do the off-season, our final off-season for the Bulldogs. And we're going to fumble it away. Awesome. So Oklahoma, <laughs> they do get the ball back. And there's Kirk for the 26. Over 500 passing attempts for Lewis on the season. That is quite a bit of throwing. And he threw that into double coverage. We still haven't sacked him yet, but 10 hurries and 2 picks. Not too shabby. with a nice deflection in the end zone. Massey player of the game, 147 yards on six catch and two touchdowns. I think it should go to Cletus Pace if we're being totally, uh, totally honest here. Guy was playing lights out today. Fourth and inches for Oklahoma. And wide open is Riddle. Touchdown Sooners. Not sure what happened to the coverage. They definitely, <laughs> definitely bit on the play fake there quite a bit. Let's see what they do here for the two points. And Gray is out of position. 31-21 is the score now. 19 seconds left in the ball game. And Malone gets the recovery. The onside kick. And that'll do it. Sooners making it look a little bit closer than it should have been. Going to give Sanford one more uh, redemption carry here. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I've ever seen that animation before, boys. This one right here. That was nice. Coming off of another animation. I may have seen that before, I'm not sure. But if I have, it doesn't happen very often. No timeouts for Oklahoma now. Final play of the game. That'll do it. MSU back-to-back -back championships. Let's go, 14-0. As we win the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl over the Oklahoma Sooners. So back-to-back -back seasons, we, we face Oklahoma for the Natty. And we come away victorious, hoisting the trophy and the coach running off field. Let's look at the stats. 
had about 100 yards there in the last couple minutes just throwing the ball. We could not sack the quarterback today. But it didn't matter. 31-21 is the final. Man, we did not score in the second half, but... I mean, we didn't really need to at all. We had a big first half. That was good enough for us. Defense is pretty good today. So was Pace. 346 yards, three touchdowns. Sanford had a touchdown, 100 yards. A few broken tackles. Massey. I still think it should have went to Pace for, for player of the game. Desmond Dale, though, 64-yard touchdown catch. Where did that come from? <laughs> that didn't even make any sense. May, seven tackles in his final collegiate game. One for a loss. We only had two tackles for a loss today. Two picks, though. Kennedy and Reuben Mason. Lots of deflections. Four stumble from May. Couldn't recover it. Hayes misses his first field goal of the season, so he was 21 of 22 on the year. Pete Floyd, both punts inside the 20. Absolutely phenomenal performance from him all season long. Some decent returns today as well. Mullins had a 17-yard punt return. And that is it. Let's go ahead and do our off-season Final offseason for the Bulldogs Dynasty. And let's see, what time is it? 12.22. So what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna do the full offseason. And then we're going to start up Season 10 in a separate stream. So that this game and the offseason is a standalone stream for this. Uh, for Season 9. There's the Fiesta Bowl Trophy, baby. Let's go. National Championship. Our third. We're gonna save it real quick, and uh, we'll go. We'll look at the uh, final top twenty-five as well first. <coughs> but yeah, as I was saying, we'll do the off-season. I uh, will end the stream, and then I want to play some more games today for uh, season ten. See if we can't repeat. We're gonna have a different quarterback. We're still gonna have Sanford at running back, and I think we're gonna have the same exact receiving core. Uh, unless some, some guys go pro, I'm not sure. Uh, Massey was a sophomore. I think uh, Malone and um, Dale are both juniors. We're going to lose Anderson at tight end. And I think we're good at O-line. I don't think we're losing anybody at O-line. Maybe one guy. Our left tackle. Was he a senior? He might have been a senior. But we're losing Corbin May on defense. And I think that's it for defense. We're going to return everybody except for May on defense next season. We need a new kicker. I think Hayes was a senior. Hayes, were you a senior, my guy? Yep. But still, you know, since the uh, postseason stats don't count, he was still perfect. 100%. But we are losing uh, a pretty good kicker. We're losing pace. Oh yeah, let's see what they said to our coach. Here we go. Four conference titles, three national titles. Win streak of 29. We are going to put all, all nothing but juggernauts on the schedule for Season 10. I mean, we had a pretty good schedule, I thought, uh, for this season. You know, some smaller schools at the start, but they were all smaller schools that have been dominating uh, throughout this entire dynasty, so I thought it was pretty a pretty tough schedule to start. Alright. Advanced off. Oh, we gotta do top 25. Almost forgot about it. The final top 25 standings of Season 9. TCU finished undefeated, so did Fresno State. See, look at all this. We have one, two, three, with three 
um, group of five schools in the top ten. And let's see how many in the top twenty-five. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of the top twenty-five schools are group of five schools. So, uh, you know, they had really good seasons. Most of them had nine or more wins. Totally, just you know, they have a stranglehold on <laughs> on their conferences, and nobody else can beat them. All right, let's do it. A final off season. All right, players leaving. Let's see what we got. We are losing Ken Robbins and Marvin Kennedy. So we will have Keyshawn Barry will be our number one corner. Tony Calhoun, I believe. Yep, Calhoun is going to be our number two. And at free safety, we're going to have, I think, a redshirt freshman. Let's export our draft class. Because, you know, eventually we will go back to the Houston Texans and do a few more seasons of that as well. I'm just not as into the NFL as I am into college, so. But I would I would like to go back to it eventually. Okay, we're losing some really good talent here. Okay, so we lost Murphy, our right tackle. Um, can't remember what his overall is, but it's like 90. But the big loss on defense is Corbin May. So we're only losing three players uh, to, you know, being seniors. Neil, Marks, and May on defense, so. <laughs> but five total starters on defense now because Robbins and Kennedy wanted to go pro. So. so that's not too bad, though. That is not bad at all. Let's see what we can do for recruiting-wise. It's going to be interesting because we don't really... You know, this class isn't going to be a big impact for us. We're only doing one more season, so. Interested prospects. What do we need? Corner, free safety, kicker. That's it for kickers? Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess. Good and excellent, good and poor. Okay, no, we're, we're actually... We're not going after you, buddy. I'm sorry. He's got good power, excellent accuracy. This guy, not so much. We have no punters interested. Okay, what was it? Corner and free safety. Of course, I'm going to go after this guy as well. Why not? Sure, we'll get a three star. We're going to get all these free safeties. Doesn't even matter. What's their speed? I mean, they're all pretty decent. Yeah, sure, four star. Why not? What do you got? 475, you're trash. Sorry. Alright, we're number one on this guy's list. What's his speed? 452. This guy's 433. Obviously, we're just going to go after the guy where we're number one as well. Four six. Ugh. These guys are all terrible. Okay, well, that's it for corners. Only two targets at corner. Uh, middle linebacker. Sure. Why not? Tony Pena. Outside linebacker. These guys are decent. Tackle, sure, we'll get him. The end. Just going after all the guys who are number one. Oops. What do we got left? Seven scholarships available. Right in. 
Wide receiver. 426. My goodness. Okay. What about this guy? 456. I mean, we don't really need a receiver, honestly. We didn't lose any. It's weird that, you know, halfbacks just aren't really interested. What about this guy? Johnny Bell. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Bet. Blake Jones. Sure. What we got? Cannon. Pinpoint. What about this guy? Strong pinpoint. Yeah, sure. Don't really matter too much, so we'll just see what happens. After season 10 of the Bulldogs Dynasty, we're going to be doing some more arena football with our Making Knights franchise that we got. Only played one season of that. Definitely going to get back into that. We'll do at least, at least one season of that um, leading up to our NCAA 07 Dynasty. It's going to kind of be our placeholder, you know, between Dynasties. We'll be arena football. Get some other games on the channel as well. I do have some college baseball. I want to play that eventually. All right, we got our kicker. Uh, we got the fast wide receiver as well. Lose out on anybody? Yeah, sure. The linebacker, that's fine. And like I said, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> if we get any of these guys, honestly. Looking forward to 07. I mean, if we get... If the MAC wins that vote on the, uh, the community poll, it's going to be really fun to see how we do in recruiting with a smaller school. We haven't done a small school yet for a dynasty, so it's going to be fun. <coughs> Woo, excuse me. <coughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let's look at other kickers here. Just going to go after him for no reason. Oh my goodness. All these sneezes out of nowhere. I'm dying. more guys here. A couple free safeties. Like I said, I'm not really too invested with, <laughs> with these recruits, so, I mean, if we get them, we get them, you know? Lost out on the outside linebacker. That's fine. Just give them all the points. do with our last scholarship available. I'm trying to think. We don't really need anything though. Yeah, let's go after a random running back with 426 speed. Why not? Why the heck not, right?
more guys let's go yeah recruiting is just it's so easy once you get good like once your team starts winning a lot get that team prestige up it's rather easy maybe a little too easy oh that's halfback signed with Baylor so Baylor gets a really fast running back which is cool because Baylor has done nothing in this series How is this three-star guy not signed with us yet? <laughs> like, what the heck are you doing, man? Any more kickers available? Yeah, sure. Average power, but... What the heck? Wait a second. two-star kicker with, <laughs> with excellent kick power. What the heck? I don't get it. I think row seven, we're just going to start off on uh, regular Heisman sliders. Except for interception. I'm turning interceptions down for both. And then we'll go from there. We we'll probably have to adjust blocking uh, because I know you get the jump snap in 07, I believe. And I don't want to see, you know, 10 sacks for both teams every game. That'd be ridiculous. All right, we got three more guys. Final week. Just the one kicker left on here. Yeah, one more scholarship available. Yeah, let's see. Do do do. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's gonna be fun, though. I I'm looking forward to a different challenge and. You know, different teams that I'm facing every every season. One of the few things that I would have changed about this game is, you know, like a rotating um, conference schedule. We've been facing the same same eight schools, you know, pretty much. I, I'm pretty sure right in a row. Same exact schedule uh, for all nine seasons so far. I'm going to try to switch it up a little bit and uh, put some non-conference games in between. Uh, towards the end of the season. See if that'll freshen it a little bit. Liven up the schedule just a bit. I don't know. Probably not going to get anybody uh, in this last week of recruiting. Which is fine. We already got our kickers. We already filled every position need that we had. And we actually got that kicker. <laughs> what the heck? And the free safety. That's, out uh, that's just outrageous. Top classes. We're number one again. TCU got number two. Illinois with number three. What the heck? Well, they did win 10 games, so that's that's impressive. They got 24 commits, and we got 25 back-to-back -back seasons. Let's see who got the worst recruiting class in the country. We'll just scroll through this quick. Western Michigan? What? Okay, sure. You say so. Bowling Green got the 25th class. That's, that's so crazy. Fresno State goes 12 and 0, and they get the 30th best class. Okay. We're just going to scroll all the way down. If you guys want to slow it down, 
and look at it at your own leisure. That's fine. I just want to see who's dead last. Anybody with single digit commits? Yep. <laughs> UL Lafayette and Northern Illinois. Alabama, what happened to you guys? We got to go back and look at some point and see, you know, how many wins they've had in the last three seasons. I don't think they've won a single game three straight years. I don't know what happened to their recruiting class. Their team prestige is one star. I don't know what's going on with them. But they somehow had a better class than Northern Illinois and Cal. That is just crazy to me. Also in 07, I think we get to do uh, little mini camps every offseason. I think, in a spring game. I could be wrong. training results here. <coughs> I'm dying. Okay, so Ferguson is the best quarterback we have. Interesting. He went up five, while Billy Bond only went up three. I don't know who we're going to use. <coughs> I might just be crazy and use Russell Larson. I don't know. Sanford only went up three after rushing for 1,877 yards, 21 touchdowns. Had three receiving touchdowns as well. So, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. McCoy up four. Okay. Full back. Got Jeff Phillips and Sandoval. Phillips. I mean, he's overtook him. My goodness. Wide receivers. Ryan Malone, the senior. 97 overall now. He went up five. Massey went up four to a ninety. Mullins, I don't care. You're not you're not seeing the field. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I don't know how many fumbles he had. He had five fumbles. I don't think that counts the uh, muff punts. I, I don't think it counts those at all. But he was just so depressing to watch on the field. Tight end. Skip Kraft, baby. Let's go. Willie Mullen. I think I'm going to put Mullen at the starting spot. See what that 72 speed can do at tight end. I don't know if we've ever had a tight end that fast before. Our entire offensive line is going to be nothing but juniors here. 90 overall. 88 overall. 90. 90. 85. 82. 91. Offensive line is phenomenal. Defensive line, I mean, we're, we're getting there. Mediocre right now. We did lose a couple guys. But John Strouser, he's the left end. Right end, Chris Williams at 82. So 84, 82 at DN, not bad. D tackle, Wayne Banks, 86. And Greg Stevenson, 83. So run defense might not be as good this season. Copeland up to an 89 overall for the senior left outside linebacker. He had a great season for us. 49 tackles, two sacks. And seven pass deflection with a forced fumble. Not bad. Charles Snow, 84 overall. Back up. Middle linebacker, Ruben Mason, the sophomore, 94. 94 overall as a sophomore is insane. And Alan Campbell, 90 overall. Right outside linebacker, this is a spot to look at. we got Jason Larson uh, taking over for Corbin May. But he's got 80 speed, so that is, that's impressive. He's our fastest linebacker by five speed. Corner, just three returners. Uh, Keyshawn Barry, the junior, 91 speed. Tony Calhoun, the senior, 99 speed. Lester Cannon, retro freshman, uh, he's got 94 speed, but just a 74 overall. Uh, I'm not sure what our freshman corners are looking like. We'll have to look at that in a second. Free safety, Rob Sandoval, 85 overall. Might be the starter, maybe not. Todd Gray up to an 84. And Dan Becker to 81. No kicker. Uh, Pete Floyd goes up to an 80 at punter. And that's it. 
go to cut players. We'll get to see our freshmen. See what kind of overalls they're cooking with. I and mean, here's our, our roster. I mean, eight guys, nine guys, 10, 11, 11 guys <coughs> with 90 overall. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Quarterback, we got a freshman, Blake Jones. We'll never see him play unless we have catastrophic injuries. Uh, halfbacks, we did not get any in recruiting. Fullbacks, do we have to cut anybody? How many people we got to cut? Uh, 16. Ugh. Doesn't matter who we cut because, like I said, it's going to be our final season. So. Tight end. Do, 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 do. Okay. Tackle. Yeah, none of this matters at all, honestly. We're gonna be cutting some freshmen, that's for sure. <laughs> One of our best players out there. 79 overall, that's not bad for a DM. We're gonna cut Ed Ross, though. Jose Cole. Yeah, he's 39 speed, get out of here. Terrible. I mean, we're gonna actually cut this guy. 38 speed is atrocious. I'm gonna have to cut a tackle. Yeah, we'll just cut Mercer. Whatever. Doesn't really matter too much. All we have at D tackle is <laughs> nothing but freshmen. Oh my goodness. 65 speed at D tackle. That's awesome. Outside linebackers. Three true freshmen here. All pretty good. Middle linebackers are all really good. Uh, Tony Pena. Okay, that's why he was a. It didn't. It doesn't show that he's JUCO. That's interesting. But we're obviously we're gonna cut him because he's never gonna play. So. Corner. Yeah. 85 speed, sorry. Free safety, we got a bunch of guys. JB Henry. Alright, we're gonna get rid of Sandoval. Ask me if I care, because I don't. Gotta read 82 speed. Nope. Terry Carr, he's 6'2, though. That's a good size guy. But, he's gone. All right, so who do we want to start? That's the question. I think we're going to start J.B. Henry, 6'1", 200-pound, free safety. Dang. I mean, Riddick Burt, he's got the best tackle, and he's the fastest. I might just start him, honestly. Strong safety. 78 speed. Ugh. This was the three star, he is not very good. Yeah, we're gonna give it him too, whatever. Kicker, what we got for kick power? What are we looking at? Yep, Chris Hansen, <laughs> what a name. All right, Alan Clark, that's the new kicker. How many else, else have we gotta give her four more guys? Billy though. Should I keep Billy? We're gonna keep Billy. And we're gonna give her to Blake Jones. Gotta give her to three more guys. This is the just the brutal part of of recruiting and uh, and this game in general. 07 I believe we have extended rosters, so the catch ratings like 69 Kaufman, what are you doing, bro? I have a memory of a goldfish, so I'll get two more guys. Tight end. Alright, we don't need all these tight ends. 
55 speed, not gonna cut it, sorry. What do we got here? Um, catching, catching ratings. Okay. Alright, that's it. That's the roster. Sweet. Got down to 55, that's all that matters. Do, do, do. Get the depth chart all set up and ready to go. We'll do our, our red shirting and the schedule. Get that all done. I'll end the stream. And then we're going to play some more games. I want to play two games at least for Season 10. Get that thing started in a full separate stream. Just so Season 9's Natty and Off Season are... Are one separate entity. The next stream will also be our 1200th video on the channel. Who do we start, boys? Who do we start? Man, I don't know who we're going to start, honestly, at quarterback. I think we're going to go with Ferguson. I think McCoy has earned that number two spot. Sandoval will keep at fullback. What's the run blocking, though? Yep, okay. It's a good choice. Wide receiver. We're going to give Desmond Dale that slot right there. Actually, you know, I'm going to do formation subs. That's what I'm going to do. people to keep at left guard here. Center. I don't know who started last season. It was Marco Ryan, I guess. Linebacker. Middle linebacker. Man, Mason's so good. Dang. Do we not have another right outside linebacker? Yeah, we do. Okay. Corner, we got Barry, Calhoun, Jimmy Brennan, true freshman. Okay. taller, faster, he can accelerate, he's not as fast, but he can accelerate more, is what I'm trying to say, better catching, stamina and injury, I mean, I might, man, that's tough, Soto's pretty good too, the acceleration's not that great though, alright, we're just going to start Henry at free safety, strong safety, Gray gets the spot there again, Turn. You know what the hell with it. We're gonna try to get Sanford a Heisman. If he gets hurt, I'm blaming you guys. I don't know why. <laughs>
Alright, that's it. Get our schedule going. Get the red shirts all done. Close out this stream. Man, 29 straight wins. Crazy. Alright, custom schedules. Can we see the top 25 right now? All right, preseason top 25. All right, we're going to put Colorado on the schedule. We're going to put Oklahoma on the schedule for a rematch. <coughs> Ohio State and Washington, maybe? Let's see if we can get Colorado early. I went way past. Okay. okay Colorado's not there. What else we got? Okay, Ohio State. Colorado. <coughs> Purdue, number seven. Sure. What do we got here? Oh, Washington. That's actually perfect. All right, there we go. So four top 25 schools here. I was hoping to... Oh, that's fine. Still get the same old conference schedule, but at least we got a school here. Uh, late in the season. Okay, I can leave that open. Okay. Let's get two teams late. What do we got down here? Let's see if I can get Colorado. If they're not, no, they're not there. Dang. Alright, so we got to take on Colorado here. I'm going to see if I can get them week one. Yep, okay. Alright, so Colorado, number one versus whatever we are. Then Ohio State, we got Purdue. How many away games do we need these to be? Two of them. So we're gonna go... <coughs> we're gonna go at Ohio State and at Washington. I think that's a pretty good schedule. Red shirt, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Sure. We only got four corners, but that's fine. All right. Hey, what up, Robbie? And Ballard signing off. Hey, we got one more season, brother. Season 10 after this. I'll be streaming uh, our first few games at least. You definitely missed the game, Marvin. But I'm gonna I'm gonna end this stream, and then I'm going to start season ten in a separate stream. So don't you worry. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and save it. So uh, here's the schedule. We are number third, uh, three currently. We're gonna be taking on number one Colorado. I don't know why it's showing like that, but number one Colorado, number eight Ohio State, number seven Purdue, and then we're going into conference play against LSU, Vandy, and then we're gonna take on number ten Washington, Auburn, Kentucky, Alabama, who hasn't won in three years, Tennessee. Arkansas, and then Ole Miss to end the season. That is it. And this will be the final season of the Bulldogs dynasty. Uh, if we ever do revisit 03, I might just uh, take a different coaching job inside of this dynasty. 
uh, which I think would be pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I want to start over uh, a fresh new dynasty, even though I do have the real rosters for 03, which, uh, but I just think it'd be cool to continue, uh, see if we can't finish a full 60 year dynasty, maybe with, with a bunch of different teams, I don't know, uh, but I think we're going for our three-peat here uh, as we start off season 10, so not sure what else we could accomplish. Um, with the Bulldogs, but uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the Bulldogs dynasty as we enter into season number 10, the final one. I'm going to end the stream, and we will start up another stream thereafter, and we'll play some games in that one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. And with season number 10. Sorry you're late to the party. Hey, it's all good, man. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to start the next stream uh, in, in just a few minutes. And we'll, we'll do some more games because I just want to keep playing here today. Uh, I don't know how many games we're going to do. Um, might do four. Might do six. You know what the hell with it. We're going to do... Uh, what time is it? One o'clock. We'll do four games. We're going to do four games to start uh, season number 10 off here today before the Super Bowl kicks off between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. But yeah, I'm going to end the stream, and I'll see y'all soon with season number 10, guys. Take it easy.